battle of the undefeated lightweight Alex Trujillo, 17-0, a knockout artist. Don't get too close to this guy. And Suarez is also 17-0, and when they call you poison, you better stay out of his range. Super lightweight title on the line between these two as Suarez gets loose. Title shot just minutes away. He'll need to be loose to face me as well, but Trujillo is absolutely annihilated. Adon Reyes brought a perfect 10-0 record into the ring against Trujillo. Trujillo knows how to throw the perfect left hook. And when he throws two, four get Pedro Terra Trujillo. But you need more than hope against this terrific banger. He sets you up just to bring you down. He interrupts the proceedings. And if he doesn't stop it, somebody else will. And that's the problem. If you fight him on his terms, you're in big trouble. And he wants to cause trouble all the way to the top. Abilities, although plenty different in style. Against Eduardo Martinez, Suarez showed his different set of advantages. Long, lanky, boxer, jabber. He will pick you apart. All that makes Suarez think that tonight's fight, just one think all Suarez can do is box, just check with a Suarez punches and would beg to differ. And Suarez plans to show it all. It's seven. And the supervisor is Claude Jackson, along with the Mississippi State Athletic Commission. Gentlemen, he has come out boxing. He holds his hands. That's the greatest example of a person being able to do that. Well, we will see if that man will just have to play itself out. But I would say that you have to do this fight is something that would... punching power from three Trujillo is very quick by the way with his right hand it's a it's a tremendously fast April 29th in Reno fast good straight left and he's normally given credit for There's... that looked like a slip it looked like off by the time the game yet I don't think but Suarez is doing a good job in that direction facing 20 two really well schooled fighters oh Rich. yeah absolutely and that got your experience too in a career 118 there's that first look at his well ground Suarez world champ Sean O'Grady Sean your expectations reached our you know Suarez has he's got uh, only six KOs and his Suarez says in the ring I'm a boxer brawler I like to work the end. I think Suarez needs to be considers himself a uh, boxer brawler I think the best fight is to stay for side for him yes. he says he's down for Trujillo he says he is a rapid boxer he loves the jab and there distance fight though for Suarez to be a taller of as punching down Trujillo five foot nine 138 pounds and when we talk background AB is 118 and 11 at 13 years old his friend Jose won him as well oh good right hand there's that power from Suarez right from Suarez second round nice jab by Trujillo and a follow-up right didn't land clean but he still forced the Suarez to give ground this is the big fights for Alex Trujillo including the last six in a row but he hasn't fought for 14 he feels like he's a year away from one of the great title shots after he wins tonight and a lot of head hunting knowing those Further fighter in a hurry. No said that uh, he has heard a lot about fight plan for right at the first of this fight. And he's doing what's reaching Suarez. If Trujillo can jab with Suarez, that's going to spell Trujillo. That's where Suarez has got to have it. Back with your own punch. Go under that. The shorter. To go deeper, the fight, as I mentioned, being off for 14 months. Oh, that weariness late in the fight. On the television lights, a lot of body punch side to side. Nice work from both fighters. Trio trying and he finally did score. Start of the fourth round. Had the edge of the second half of round number three. And him off. Tries to keep it. He right now from Swan Dat second by second in that ring. Suarez in the first half of the round, but uh, especially with that lack of uh, Trujillo, which I think. Uh, the last couple of rounds. The Leaning on him, hooking him. That's yes. Sorry, Rich. Right there. You're talking about it. Good left hook. Trujillo closing the gap now. Getting inside. Body shot from Trujillo. And that had to hurt. Digging to the body. The guy with the warning. Referee. He caught. Trujillo scores. Then Suarez has to get it. Productive now for Suarez. By the way, these two did not get into it at the weigh-in. Oh, to manage to get a punch. There's a toward the end of the round now. Trujillo into Suarez a number of times, but the only time it was caught was by, by referee. And also
so it needs to use the jab. And uh, Trujillo is look where he keeps in a very good stance technically. Pretty technically compliments my keep those elbows in. I gave Trujillo that last round. Fifth round. It's from Trujillo. And you can really see the <laughs> frustration now as Suarez is taking. He's got to keep it out in the middle of the ring. He Some of this rustiness. Yeah. There's no question. Now, will the, if the fight continues into the later rounds, where then the weariness sets in. Sharp, or as sharp as we've seen him, but I think he's in good condition to go 12. Couple of big laps from Trejillo. This is the way he wants to happen. Solid round. All right, good brisk action in that last round. Trujillo continuing to put the pressure on, banging to the body and to the head, making the young man, the 21 year old. And this is trouble right here. Clean joy. From the man who's done. It was going to take you a couple of rounds to figure out Suarez. What, Trujillo, what, what do you see? Well, you know, it's a tall guy. He's a hard guy to fight Suarez. You know, Trujillo hasn't fought in a long time, but he'll take some well, he's, he's fighting a tall guy. He hasn't fought a long time. All right, Sean. Trujillo starting to dictate the tempo. He's got uh, the bruising under the right eye of. The jab, as Rich mentioned at the start of the round. Both fighters, we mentioned, coming in at 17 and 0. But Trejillo with 14 KO. And as we talked about it earlier. Extracurricular. Alex Trejillo. Now is he going to impact for the right eye? In that last round to perhaps take the round again. And I think that was instrumental in raising that lump under the eye. And he's... Open the gash. Limit the effect of 129 and 4. He was supposed to fight in the 1996. Sure, he doesn't think it was funny. Puerto Rican Olympic team. And he was he was going to fight there in Atlanta. And be professional. And there's one Hakoto on this year. Fractured his hand. He took himself right out of the... He's only gone with a 17 and 0 record into the eighth round once before. We're going to see how that plays out here. That can have an effect. Lap from Suarez, but digging again is Trejillo. Combination, but as you mentioned, that style of Trejillo, tough. Trejillo just won't let up. Keeps boring in. Looking a little of the seven. And, uh, here it comes now. It's going to come right there, left hand, low to the bottom. Of round number eight, and a better round for Suarez, despite accepting the low blow. And then he a left as well. Trahil Still a very interesting fight. Still Good a fight up for from Trahil, but Suarez battles back. Every time Suarez gets close to him. Ahead of Mark Suarez. Let's join John O'Grady in the The secret over here. They told Suarez between rounds, they said, Mark, you got to... Well, plenty of... Foul fight, you know, and they were not... Shoulders from Trujillo. Older, <laughs> when they come in clean. <laughs> Trujillo is not to... Down the face of... Just go to the body, Joel. He can't abandon that body attack. 14-month layoff is taking the... It's a fact. And he got... Into it. That was an amateurish mistake by... To the right. And a good left from Suarez. And each man had his moments. There you see Trujillo backing Suarez, but then he got reckless and he walked right into the right defensively. Let's go, relax go. there that Suarez let him hit him with. And then there's that right hand that nearly former world champion shot up the eighth. Oh, yeah, and you really see it. You see the guts to determine that fight. Step in. So much got for the fight midway. And skill, too. The skill, I thought the, the power he has hung in there. Was open. From Trujillo. So it about it the last round, the 14 month layoff. Go Trujillo. You are right. You are correct. It really wears on you. And the later the fight goes, the worse it becomes. He needs close quarters now with Suarez. One thing for Suarez. Way to fight. It's more enjoyable to fight this way. This is what he does. Just slip. Oh, no. Call by the referee Elmo Adolf. But he's got. I think the last three or four rounds have been pretty close. Anytime, any part of your body. 
touches the canvas, decides to soldier your feet. Morris thinks he can out. Trujillo made a couple of uh, visits to the canvas. There was a low blow, but he <laughs> threw that right hand and missed that one. That was no knockdown. Suarez was hoping that it was. Then a right hand to the back of the head. Down goes Trujillo. The three judges. Absolutely. Move in. Throw a lot of Good right hand, a counter from Suarez. And back to what he does best. Trujillo digging to the body. Mark Suarez, very impressive tonight. Yes. We are about the mouse under his eye earlier, under the right eye. Now, too. Suarez, Rich, you've got him winning a 10-8 due to the knockdown. Suarez. And a good combination. The hand speed looks a little... Trujillo. Division, this 140-pound division. Oh, can throw a triple left hook. Nice work in Suarez. Now, let's go. Trujillo's own game. Suarez, man, in this round, he's just boxing through. Oh, right hand from Trujillo. It's inexperienced one late in fights. Neither fighter has gone this long, but you're right. Suarez has had a lot of decisions in six and eight rounds his opponents in the first four. Big round again for Mark Suarez at the end of the ten. His left hand is doing it very well. Left jab down to the body, left hook. That's where he learned how to fight. He beat Larry Mosley in the amateurs one time. Middle eight. Trejo trying to pull his rounds early. We thought Trujillo would dictate the tempo and wear down his opponent over the first five or six. Here we are in the 11th of a scheduled 12-rounder for the NABF Super Lightweight title. Did you really see the frustration? You guys talked about it earlier. Taking a point away from Suarez yes. holding. And leaping on Suarez would not, wouldn't let up, apparently. Hey, your hands are free. Punch. What Trujillo's doing. Desperation, frustration. Settle down and do your job. This is where he really needs to focus. And then he woke up. They revived him. Oh, and a good hand. Trujillo, I like what he's doing in this round. You're right for them. At least at this point for Trujillo. Now Suarez is holding, and the Trujillo keeps Suarez was hoping that, that Trujillo round, would get a point taken. It went to him. Round. And then later on, we had the flying tackle as well. Holding. So it's all going on in this round. Trujillo seems to have regained the edge for the NABF title. And both corners got to tell their man, you must win this. ...to have enough left to mount something significant. Uh, we necessarily see Morris remember to take that point away. I thought I had a fight score to draw. I don't think there'll be any... Halfway through the final round, way in again. Run. See one more floor. <laughs> Three rounds have been the difference for Alex Trujillo. Their 18th professional match. It is fitting that it's this. Really lived up to uh, the warrior status. We'll get in there and engage in this kind of a war. Big right hand. Trejillo got him on his way in. And what a fight it was. As Suarez goes to a knee at the end of the fight.